Hi guys, we're right back at the same spot, Tonopah, Nevada, at the Tonopah Liquor Company. We are the Whiskey 100 Club. Today we're going to enjoy this because we have Brew Laddie, the classic Laddie, which is an unpeated Isla Scotch. It's still a single malt. That's going to be weird. I've never had an unpeated one. So an unpeated one simply means they did not use peat in the malting process. They used some type of other heat source, basically. Uh, I don't know if they use a regular campfire. Some places use ovens, and I meant to pour lighter than that, and I didn't. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll top um, that. You can top that one off, I guess. We're trying not to... Eh, there top you it. There's nothing in there. <laughs> top it. <laughs> so as you can see, it's nice Jesus. and clear. Got a light amber, yeah, like I gold like tool. that. It's, uh, it's not mine. Um, that's good. Okay. Uh, but I kind of. Uh, nice amber, <laughs> a that. really light coat of oil. Very. Yeah, it hangs. No drool, nothing just sticks there, there and stays there. Oh. Oh yeah. Like I said, this one is like smelling the ocean gradually. Mm. Just a smoky. There is there's a saltiness to it. I guess smoke. It's still getting a little. Hit. So when they Juice. said it was unpeated, I'm like, I don't, I'm still getting mm. it. I still get, this, I don't get the peat. When you say unpeated, I don't get the peat, I get the smoke, <laughs> but I don't get the earthiness. I get more of a lighter fruitiness, almost. Yeah. And a salt tang. I do like get a salt, lighter. it's almost like a, it's almost like you use salt water. Salted apple? Yeah. Uh, or maybe, salted fruit? It's like that, yeah. It's like yeah. they use salt water to still with or something, yeah. I don't know. Salt, yeah, it's, I can get the salt. I get the smoke, but I get a, I get fruit. Yeah, there's there's a fruit sweetness and mm. there's a woodiness in there too. There's oh, yeah. there's a barrel in there. You definitely get that on the taste. That's Spicy. almost that's almost like a, like when you get barrel burn, but without the bitterness. There's a damn. It's so smooth. She killed it. But it's high enough alcohol content that um, you, you still just you like. Want some more? Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry, little, apparently I poured light. A little nuttiness on the back end. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there you go. There's yeah. enough for you. Thank you. An amazing bottle. I've enjoyed every drink I've had out of this one. And this one, I've noticed, because I've had it for most of a year, sometimes just mood, you know, and timing seems to make a difference on the, on the uh, impact of the flavors. Sometimes I've opened it and had it, and it literally, like I said, it smelled like I was smelling a setting next to the ocean. I do get the saltiness in yeah. there, but again, a fruit. There's a, like almost like a juice to it. Mm -hmm. It's like a sweet fruit, and then you get the saltiness in there, so it's like a sweet, salty, and then the smoke comes in. But you're right, there is no earthiness to it because the peat's not in there. It's still got a little smoke flavor, but it's like a hint of smoke. Right, you don't it's, get that. It's not smoke, it's a Loma. hint of smoke. Yeah. yeah. The scent. The touch of spice, not, not terrible. Uh, it doesn't overwhelm. In fact, it just hits and starts to fade away. Yeah, it's more of a slap in the face than a punch. Yeah, yeah. more like a light tap. Yeah. It's not it's even like a, a little yeah. love tap. Yeah, a little warning. Okay. Yeah. Spicy. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's good. Mm. I've never uh, not enjoyed a pour of the brulee. See, the, I, this is when you hid, didn't it? That's why I only remember. I'm remembering it now. I've only had it once. I had it the one time I came to your house. I haven't had it since. As he said before in most of our videos, you have things you put away and you yes. share on special occasions. And uh, this was a gift for me. And I know it's not a cheap bottle. So, uh, yeah, I save it. Have it. This is the one like I'll have on like a Friday. I just feel like I really would like a nice drink. Something, yeah. something nice. Like, yeah, like I said, I explained there's three, there's three stages. You have the party. And that's the, so there's stuff that you give to the party, right? And then, then after the party dies down, you have your friends. Then there's the stuff you give to your friends. Then when your friends leave, you have the hardcore people that are there, right? That are really into, and that's when you go up and you break out the stuff from the top shelf. That's the three levels of it. And yeah, I could. Yeah, the, the party yeah. or the uh, and getting this together is, for games. That's uh, here, kill all these 30 to $40 bottles yeah. that we've accumulated tasting. Yeah. So then there's the, new stuff. And then there's the, hey, check this out, the 60 to $90 bottles. And then there's, for us, if it's more than $100, hey, that stays up, and we just take that down. If it's good, it comes down once in a while, birthdays so, and special occasions. So I do like this, and I feel like we need to get more of them in our lives. More, well, of, the, more of the Brulati. I, I just asked Santa on his behalf yeah. for yeah. more Brulati. Yeah? Yeah. 
I, if you like it, it's good. <laughs> Santa didn't ask me shit. Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, other than it was a gift, I mean, this is, I mean, I, I'm not saying it's completely top shelf, but it is good. It is. I do enjoy it. And this. as for an unpeated, because a lot of problems is, a lot of people get into Islas, your first whiskey was an Isla, and all you think about is smoke, and it turns you off to scotch, right? This would be a good way to turn somebody on to Islas, not necessarily scotches maybe, but definitely Islas. If I brought this to you say, this is an Isla, it's the same thing as the Lafoy that you, you know, almost threw up on because yeah. you can handle it. <laughs> this is the same thing, but a little different. This might get them into the Islas. I don't, I'm not saying this is a gateway to scotch like Lamorgi is. Lamorgi is a yeah. gateway to scotch. This is once you're there. It's a nice smooth. To, to kind of tease yeah. you into the Islas and stuff like that, because it is yeah. smoky. But it is, I get I get an apple. I'm going to argue with you on the fruit. I'm yeah. going to say melon. Melon? I get apple. I'm not, I haven't had a melon in years. Yeah. <laughs> but I would say, I would say, definitely, a fruit yeah. with a little bit of smite and a hint of smoke. A too. light fruit. Yes. Not, not a dark fruit. Yeah. But two, now, after doing both of those um, Glen Morangies, yeah, I can, you can tell the difference in the barley. Oh, yeah. 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 So like I said, it's still a single small, it's 100% barley. Um, they don't say where it comes from, so it could come from multiple farms, all that stuff. But it is good. I'm a, I'm a fan of the blue laddie. Oh yeah, I am the classic. Um, the classic laddie has won me over, and we will do more laddie videos. Um, if you have a you know, specific one that you like, let us know in the comments, and we will try to get it. She says Santa's going to bring a bottle. <laughs> now that I know he likes it, maybe I'll buy. It. See, the, the good thing is, if I buy him a bottle, I still get to drink it. Because he's going to bring it right here and we drink it at his house and stuff. Yeah, that's so, right. So anything we buy for that, I get to try. So I might have to do that. Yeah. All right, I, guys. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. If you ever get a chance, please stop by the Tom Paul Liquor Company. We have plenty of whiskeys for you to try. Um, should we promote the GoFundMe? Um, I think you just did. So uh, you might yeah. as well. Oh, yeah. so the TLC, because of the virus, has gone around. And we are back open, but we are struggling. If you want to help... Please go to our GoFundMe. Give us a try. Uh, we're, it's not a typical GoFundMe. It's more like a Kickstarter where you get stuff for the level that you you help out. Get T-shirts. You leave your email, your address. We will make sure you get whatever level you get. Uh, we are going to decorate the back of the bar here with the people with the names of the people that help. So it'll be really nice if you were. Um, if at least if the only thing you get out of this video is please try that whiskey. That's that right. is good. Uh, Mine's gone. Cheers. Tank. I'm gonna finish mine. Drink safe. Be safe, guys. I do like. There's a definite difference too between. Like... Video's on. I'm pouring this one. All right. You're always pouring.